Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create your own virtual instrument in BandLab, like this one. In this video, I'll take a sample sound from the BandLab looper and I'll turn it into a virtual instrument, but you can use any sound you like. On the track mixer screen, Tap on the plus icon and tap on Looper on the pop up menu. Now tap on the plus icon to the right of a Looper pack name. At the bottom of the looper screen, tap on the record icon, then tap on the looper pad you want to record. Then tap on the stop icon to stop recording, and tap on the looper pad to turn it off. At the top right of the screen, tap on the X icon. Now drag the white vertical track position marker line to the beginning of the recorded wave. Tap on the recording and tap on the third icon from the left that is the slice icon. Tap the blank area of the mixer screen then tap on the recording before the slice. And tap on the first icon from the left that is the delete icon. Now drag the track position marker line to the end of the part of the recorded wave that you want to use. Tap on the recording, then tap on the slice icon. Now tap on the blank area of the mixer screen, then tap on the recording after the slice and tap on the delete icon. Now tap on the recorded wave and drag it to the left so it is at the beginning of the track. At the bottom left of the mixer screen, tap on the mixer settings icon. Then tap on the three dots to the right of the track name. and tap on Download. Then tap on your device's back button. And at the bottom left of the screen, tap on the mixer settings icon again. At the top left of the screen, tap on the exit icon. Then tap on Discard on the pop-up menu. Now that we've downloaded the sample recording, we need to import it into BandLab's Audio Stretch app. Scroll down the screen on the home page to the Tools section. Then scroll through the tabs and tap on the Audio Stretch tab. If you haven't already installed the app, you will be taken to the App Store to install it. Then tap on Open. At the top left of the screen, tap on the plus icon. Then tap on Import on the pop up menu. Now tap on your recorded sample. The sample downloaded from the BandLab looper should be in your phone's download folder. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on the hash icon above the word pitch to make the sample one semitone higher. Or tap on the flat B icon to make the sample one semitone lower.
A semitone is one keynote higher or lower on a piano. Press the play icon to hear the changed sample. At the top right of the screen, tap on the share icon. Then tap on Gmail. At the top left of the draft email screen, tap on the back arrow. At the top left of the screen, tap on the three lines. Tap on the drafts folder. Then tap on the draft email. Now tap on the download icon to the right of the sample name. The sample should now be exported to your download folder. Now go back to Audio Stretch and create 14 more samples at different pitches. You should now have the original sample recording plus 15 versions of that original at different semitone pitches. On the BandLab home screen, tap on Sampler. At the bottom right of the Sampler screen, tap on the Edit icon. Then at the bottom left of the screen, tap on Import Audio. Then tap on the original sample in your download folder. Now tap on the edit icon again. Tap on the next empty pad. Then tap on import audio. Now tap on your first audio stretch sample. Audio stretch seems to add a blank space to the beginning and end of its saved samples. So tap on the edit icon. Then at the bottom right of the screen, tap on Edit. On the Wave Edit image at the top of the screen, drag the vertical grey trim lines to the beginning and end of the Wave image. Then at the bottom of the screen, tap on Done. And at the bottom right of the screen, tap on the tick icon. Now repeat the process until you have imported all 16 samples. Now that we have the sample recordings in the sampler, we can create a virtual instrument track. To record a track, either tap on the record icon and press on the pads to record the track live, or at the bottom right of the sampler screen, tap on the Step Sequencer icon and tap on the screen to add notes. Each row is numbered 1 to 16 and the row number is the pad number the notes in that row will play. Adjust the length of the notes to play more or less of the sample. Finally, at the top right of the screen, tap on the X icon. You can also save this sampler so you can use this virtual instrument in any of your other BandLab song projects. To save this sampler kit, at the top right of the sampler screen, tap on the three dots and tap on Save As on the pop up menu. Type in a name for your sampler kit and then tap on Save. To 
to open your sampler kit in another song, tap on the plus icon. Tap on sampler on the pop-up menu. At the bottom left of the sampler screen, tap on the sampler pack icon. Then at the top of the screen, tap on my kit. Then tap on the name of your saved sampler kit. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.